right, let's do this. Almost 24 years in the making, considering the year is 2020. And boy, what a year it has been so far. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. Resident Evil has expanded in a vast world that revolves around zombies. In a sort of sandbox universe that they created for themselves with a very interesting, compelling, best-selling story that goes beyond video games. And not just including video games, comics, animated series, movies, books, you name it. All underlined with the same base premise. Starting off the rich white man stealing from the poor black man. What a science fictional, crazy ass, never heard before concept that clearly only can be put into play via fictional scenario. Yeah, never heard about that before, right? Like it never happened in real life. They came, they took their flowers, the garden, the village, and the rest just kind of followed. Yeah, pretty much like in real life. Leon Scott Kennedy, the ex-cop, now anti-terror, anti-zombies, that survived Raccoon City destruction incident with the face and hair of a supermodel. Claire Redfield. Terra save, human rights activist that can shoot a gun with the accuracy that her special ops brother can't. The type of ambitious person that will survive literally anything, including a zombie invasion. Lower it. FBI. Ada Wong or Ada Wong. That. Not even her real name because she's an Asian American spy. Who knows who she's spying for? Even more prepared and badass and lethal than both of the Redfield's brothers. The Natasha of Resident Evil, if you will. Come on, she has a crossbow. A crossbow. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Jill Valentine, the second prior to the first, hottest female character in the franchise. Super badass, Delta Force, counter-terrorist, bioterrorist, anti-terrorist, bonafide cop who now works as a cop for the uh, special division of the Raccoon City Police Station. Carlos Oliveira. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Not a simp. Best one-liner in the franchise. And that hair. Oh, man, that hair. I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. Ladies, take your pick. Which one will it be? I can't really find the right combination of adjectives or a carefully placed sentence that will kind of describe what I felt when I played this game in the first playthrough but it felt a little bit like this let me grab mine ah! what the hell ah! 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 fuck you hey what sort of pharmacy advert is this aqua cure oh i see you're getting the bottle but not the pretty lady call me Why does everything in this game constantly sucks me? I can't go like five minutes without getting sucked. God. Open. Just, just open. 
I'm pressing the button. Why? I was pressing the button. What the fuck was that? Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Suck it! Resident Evil 3 Remake has a sobriety to it that you can't really find too often. Not many games like this get released each year. It takes itself seriously. And you feel it when you play it. This was made with great care and attention, and it was done very well. Kidding left aside, I, I enjoy this. If I could describe this game with one single word, it would probably be quality. You have fun when you're playing it. It gives you the right vibe. It runs very well. The voice acting, just very good. Facial animations. Not many bugs. It doesn't say, you know, gold edition on it or anything like that. But you feel like it's been greatly polished. You don't really have to play the game like this because it greatly kind of ruins the experience. Or you can play it twice like I did. One, just to get the feel of it. And second time with a grenade launcher because, I mean, why not? You did pay for the deluxe edition, which cost a lot of money. So might as well take advantage of it, I guess. It just makes the game fun and kind of relieves the tension. Although, it wasn't meant to be played like that. Oh man, like, I really wish they keep making these remakes. This is the second one, but considering how many great games Resident Evil has released, and we all kind of just love them, these remakes are very well made, and I just wish we could get more, more of them. They are very well optimized. I mean, I didn't want to, but I sold my previous graphics card. And I played this on, unfortunately, 1050 Ti. I expected the worst, but I got a very good result. It just plays smooth. Butter smooth. Vegan butter smooth, that is. The optimization and how it looks, even on low specs, it's so good. What you gotta do here and is insert this pin and start from the exterior and make your way into the middle. You know, you gotta jiggle it a little bit. I'm really starting to get the hang of this. Yeah, this could be, you know, this could come in handy if you lock yourself out of your house. This is educational right here. As a developer, you have to focus on aspects where the player has to learn something from your game, you know, just a couple of skills that you get to, it's not about just shooting, just learn stuff. For example, in Black Flag, I learned that breakfast comes in a bottle. Uncorked this breakfast! What really feels unrealistic, and not the zombies, because if you look close enough, you will see people like this on the streets, or this guy, yeah, my... My cousin has seen a guy like this, just like this. We live in East Europe. We see a lot of shit. No, it's, it's the um, grenade launcher. Seriously, I mean, that thing weighs like, what, half a ton? The way she just kind of holds it on her back, running around, just aiming with it. Like, that, that is very unrealistic. Like, how do you hold that? with your hands and aim it like, look at her arm. It's impossible, not even for a very, very bulky guy. Very unrealistic, like, come on. What really, but like, what really, really gets me is when they kind of exaggerate in these games so much to the point where it has nothing to do with reality. COVID, infection, stuff like All right, zombies, we get it. But, I mean, this, when you cut this thick-ass chain with these clippers, it's impossible. Like, it, it's, it's impossible. Can you imagine the strength that you need to cut this chain, this, this thick chain? 
It's ridiculous. Oh, this is way better. Way better. So cute. Beautiful. Seriously? Whoa, look at those eyelashes. Man, women would kill for eyelashes like that. Sir, are you alright? Stay back. Don't come any closer. What? Is because I'm white and fluffy? You racist son of a You think that I'm a little white sheep? That I can't take care of myself? You think this is a lamb steak? Huh? I'll give you a lamb steak. Hey, hey, easy on the fur, playboy. Dirt hands on my white coat. What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this?